is basically just gonna be me showing you guys some of the outfits that bottle girls wear because i know that a lot of people are kind of confused about what exactly bottle girls or cocktail waitresses exactly do so i'm trying to give you guys some more clarification on the subject because i work i've been doing bottle services for about 10 months now um, i actually very much enjoy my job it's easy and it's fun so yeah if you guys have any questions please remember to put them in the comment section below we have special guests come and this is one of the outfits this is one of our very first few outfits it's just kind of like a blue leotard and you can just wear this with some tights underneath or some fishnets and a pair of black heels. This is a more recent one that we just got. It's a um, lime green. It's a lime green, what is this? Leotard and the, as you can see, it's kind of like the shoulder piece up here. And the arms just go off to the side. And it's a, as you can see, a little opening right there where it will show a little bit of thigh. You just wear those with tight sufficients. Um, I like this one. This one is pretty simple. It's just a, um, a deep V-neck onesie, low back. You just wear that with some tight sufficients. I like this one because it's money green. Do, do. Girl, I wanna see you twerk. I throw the money you twerk. All right, then you can twerk. Do, do, twerk. I have this orange outfit. It has a little scrunchy hole thing going in the front. And this is a two piece set we have. It's like the V neck at the top, as you can see. It's like that. When you work in the nightlife, when you're drinking coffee at. 9 30 p.m <laughs> got me a coffee for the night because i'm gonna need this to boost my energy up because honestly right now i just want to get in my covers and wrap up in my bed i'm trying to fight that urge because girl you need this money what you doing so yeah it's about 9 30 like i said um i already did my hair and makeup i'm about to put some gas in my car Oh yeah, by the way, I do work about an hour away from my job, so, you know, my commute there is, takes me at least an hour, at the least, so, yeah, get ready for this hour drive, probably hop on the road about 10.30, can get there about 11.30 or whenever I'm ready. I think this is our very first outfit. And these are the tops. So, yeah. We have outfits for the first in every color and shade, literally. This is just the purple one we got. This is the top. It's a turtleneck top. And it just has like the keyhole pull string in the middle. You just wear that with like fishnets, tights, and black heels. That was basically a couple of the outfits that bottle girls wear. Yeah, we have a couple basic um, hygiene and um, physical maintenance rules. Um, your hair has to stay done. Your nails aren't a necessity, but I would, you know, I would advise that if you do bottle services to have your nails done, just because when the photographer is in the club and he's taking pictures of you pouring bottles, people are going to see that on flyer. They're going to see that your, your nails are real busted. And that's not cute, sis. Like, trust me, like, that's not cute. I keep my nails done personally, but it's not a requirement in my club. One requirement is you have to keep your hair done. Your hair, if your hair looks crazy, you're getting sent home. And um, the biggest requirement that we have in our club is that you cannot come to work smelling musty or any type of body odors. You'll get fired. Like, there's not even a sent home. You're fired if you come to work smelling nasty. That's like a must. Um, other than that, though, it's nothing really specific. We don't have to have like a certain weight rule because like I said you know my preference is different and I'm glad that you know we don't have to live up to these crazy societal standards 